coming at you with pitchforks. It'll teach them not to waste the day. Coming for that ride with me? I might just take you up on that later. Ah, Tank. Nice to have you with us. Eddie, what are you doing? Life's too short, old boy. You don't waste it by sleeping it away. What's on for today? Oh, I don't know. A stroll, perhaps, or something? Oh. We're really living it up, aren't we? I don't do a lot of living it up, he said. Well, you'd better get your togs on. Because, Tank, all that is about to change. Good right, Dad. Sorry. All right, all right, just uh, thought you'd be gone by now. Oh, yeah, I've had a slept. Hey, how did it go yesterday? I tried phoning you, and all I got was your voice, man. Yesterday? Yes, with Viv. Oh, yeah, 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 yesterday, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, eh? You did go and see her? Uh, no, not exactly, no. You know what? I'm starving. I had some breakfast. Are you kidding me? Just, just leave it, will you? Don't want to talk about it. Wait, for the first time in, in what, a year? She contacts you and then you chicken out. I give up, I seriously, I give up on you. I couldn't face it, right? So I didn't go. Oh. Yeah, I'm a coward and I'm a bad person and I've done a terrible thing. Yeah, happy? Do you have any idea how insulting it is? All I'm saying is you don't want to be hanging around the house all day. Just because I happen to be out of work at the moment. Doesn't warrant your comparison. I well, need the phrase of the cat fits. I just like to think that I still have got a little get up and go left. Or well, the one about the lady protesting too much. And one minor, and I use the word advisedly, heart scare doesn't entitle you to liken me to. All the... right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to compare you to Alan Turner, okay? But I just don't want you moping about at home. Poor Alan Turner, I'm more dynamic than he is. <laughs> he never does anything, never goes out. I want some more of these ketchup containers. Not the guys like, though. Might be weeks before we see them. You're going to wear a hole in that table if you're not careful. Well, we need to keep things clean, don't we? We don't want the hygiene coming in, shutting us down. I keep this place spotless. Yeah, still. Hey, have you seen Jenny this morning? No, why? Well, I wanted to know how it ended up last night, that's all. How do I know? Well, you do live with her. <sighs> Look, Bob, are you all right? Yeah. It's just that you seem agitated, more agitated than usual. <laughs> but Terry said that everything was okay with Viv, so that's one less thing to worry about, isn't it? Morning. Hello. <laughs> I was just asking, Bob, did you have a good time last night? Oh, what did I say? Nothing. Look, Brenda. It was fine. Last night was fine. It was. It was great. Really? Yeah, really. Right, well, uh, look, the choice is yours. You can either go in the shop or be in here with Bob. What do you fancy? You know, I promised Terry that I'd go and help him clear out the factory. First I've heard of it. But what can I say, eh? Obviously, you don't share everything. Anyway, can I leave you two in charge for a bit? Thanks. Well, it doesn't look like I've got much choice, does it? No. Then I'll get on in there. Morning. You all right? Yeah, I'm having trouble starting her. Any chance you can take a look? I've got other jobs on, but could probably fit her in, yeah? Excellent. Well, I'll leave it with you. God, you're here. Why? What's happened? Oh, mate, I've done a terrible, terrible thing. Well, go on, spill. <sighs> right, you know I was going to go and see Viv yesterday. Oh, please tell me it's got nothing to do with you using my name again in prison. Oh, no, no, it's... it's much worse than that. Oh, what on earth do you think oh. you're doing? I'm going for a ride, apparently. 
Ah, here he comes. Ladies. <laughs> ah, that's some admirer. Anyone we know? They're for the church. Oh, it's just like Marlon Brando in The Young Ones. Yeah. The Wild One. So, um, what are you rebelling against, Daddy? What do you got? <laughs> Go on, show us what it can do. No, you never see the fella doing anything. I can't decide which of the two of them is the bigger old fool. Oh, it's called living, Edna. We should try it sometime. Now, right, come on, then. Let's have it. So, right, you know when you kind of get caught in the moment and you, you think something or you, you feel something might be a good idea at the time and then things, events take over? Bob, you're going to need to be a bit more specific. Specific, right, OK. Well, yesterday I did quite possibly the worst thing I've ever done in my life. I take it this happened when you went to see Viv. No. No, look, that's what I mean. Specifics. It's got nothing to do with Viv. Well, it has, yeah, it has it indirectly. I, I didn't go and see her. You didn't? But you said. Yeah, I know, mate. I lied. I'm sorry. Couldn't face it. Right. So what did you do? I sort of, um. I slept with Jenny. Bob. I know. Bob! I know, I know, I know, I know. No, no, no. You, what were you thinking of? And don't tell me it just happened or, or that it was just a, a moment of madness. Yeah, well, it did, yeah, and it was. I, just, I don't know, mate. I just got so down over the fact that Viv was going to ask for a separation or a divorce. Well, you I don't even know that. I mean, you don't know the reason why Viv wanted to see you. It, it, it could be any reason. It could be any number of reasons. Oh, no. You... Just convince yourself, and th and then this happens. What am I gonna do? Right. Well, first, you gotta talk to Viv. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I need to bite the bullet, do the right thing. And then, well, after that, maybe. What? Well, I'm going to have to tell her what happened, aren't I? No. No, 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 that, that's not what I meant. No, you, you've got to find out why she wanted to see you. You can't tell her about Jenny and kill her. I mean, she's, she's got months left in Nick. Oh, I don't know, mate, I don't know. It's all just such a mess, isn't it? <sighs> I mean, maybe I'm just better making a clean breast of things, you know, and if, if I just tell her everything, then at least she'll have plenty of time to decide what she wants to do about it. And, and in the meantime, I can make things right with Jenny. No! No, mate, that, that's really not what I meant. No, but you're right. I need to talk to Viv.